so you want your MAME to look better and you've tried messing with settings you've looked around online and you haven't been able to get it quite right well if you're using the latest MAME version um, 0.171 for MAME user interface 64 is what I'm using there are other versions there are a lot of different versions of MAME but I think MAME user interface 64 is still the most common as far as people who do not use the command line version of MAME and they want a front end a lot of people use hyperspin and groovy MAME and MAME UI FX and a lot of different ones but I've noticed when I upgraded to Windows 10 that my favorite version of MAME which was uh, version like .149 or something it doesn't run on Windows 10 it just get a black screen and the whole computer hangs and I have to restart my computer and I was like what? I, I think it's a compatibility issue with Windows 10 I tried to fix it but I don't know I got, it just wasn't working for me and a lot of people might have similar problems and what people tend to do is just grab the latest version the latest version for MAME user interface 64 is 171 and if you don't have that and you want to have that basically just type in something like MAME user interface 64 and the first link you'll see is the home page and it's this right here MAME UI 64 version 1. Point, I mean version 0 .171 download you don't get the source you get this one after you've downloaded it to your desktop you know you're gonna get a folder that looks like this well actually you'll get a folder that looks like this but it'll be zipped so you just right click it and you extract it once you've extracted it you'll get a main folder that has all these contents with inside however you won't have a folder called ROMs and your any folder will be blank it won't it'll just say directory up here it won't have this main any to get it a MAME in any, all you have to do is run MAME once and change something within MAME and it'll generate uh, its any file. So to run MAME once you do want to have at least some kind of game. So what you do is you create a folder, like a new folder, you know, new folder called ROMs like this, capital R-O-M, lowercase s. And then within that ROMs folder, that's where you put your games you put them in zipped form like this you find them online now some websites if you type in like MAME ROMs you're gonna find a lot of links some websites will offer like let's say you get Mortal Kombat 2 and you're getting that somewhere and it might be a different size you know or it might be one that's all of a sudden says not working with certain versions of MAME you know so if it doesn't work the first time try it the next website down and then the next website just keep trying a few websites you know until you get a website that has quality ROMs that seem to just work um, I know I used to use ROM Nation a lot back in the old days I don't know if they're still around let's find out real quick uh, ROM Nation <coughs> yeah here they are yeah just go here and uh, check their main ROMs um, looks like they have freaking uh, a lot of uh, what are these called like little pop-ups it'll screw you over but just ignore that tab back for now and then you're in MAME ROMs Let's see this time it works so I'm just ignoring their pop-up you know that's how they make their money I guess off pop-ups you know you don't want to click anything in that pop-up so I'm gonna go to M oh my god they got a lot of pop-ups I'm gonna ignore that try it again go to M there it goes go down to Mortal Kombat man a lot of Mahjong games Okay, ROM Nation, it seems too compromised in my opinion. I don't like how it is. So I'm going to control alt delete go to my task manager, and I'm going to end Google Chrome because I don't like to try to X out of pop-ups because, for all you know, Xing out gets you a virus. Okay, don't go to ROM Nation. Probably go to Emu Paradise or something. Let's try that one. Emu Paradise. And we'll just go to uh, our Emmy Paradise meme. There it is. Let's see if the Emmy Paradise is a little easier for the layman. All right. Yeah. Click on M. And so far, no nasty pop-ups. Go down to Mortal Kombat or something. Man, a lot of games, huh? All right. Here we go. More comment two. Now you won't know which version is the original. 
um, like this is a hack this is a hack I already know that this one 3.1 is the original so that's the one you want to download so you click it come down here keep scrolling keep scrolling keep scroll here is where you want to be 14 megabytes this is the original one because it says mk2.zip if it was like a hack or a revision it would say something like mk2 something something dot zip right you click on that <coughs> come down a little further and it's gonna here's your direct download link there you go you click on that and you get it anyway so that's how you get some ROMs so let's say you got some ROMs here's where they go in this newly created ROMs folder of your new MAME install alright so now, and you keep them zipped you, you leave them zipped now that you got ROMs in there you just need an any file so you open up your MAME you might need to run it as administrator if you use like user account control whatever I don't use none of that stuff but whatever um, and then at first you're not it's gonna start you off like this all games and it's gonna be a million games here that you don't have probably so what you need to do that when you first get MAME audit all games like audit all existing sets or sets or whatever and then it's gonna take a while and it's gonna search for what games you have and check against the games you have versus the games you don't have which ones are working for that version of MAME whatever something I liked about the older version of MAME is all the games I liked worked in 171 it doesn't see some of my games but I'll look into that later that's not what this video is about but most of my games it does see but anyways long story short after it finds your games you know then what you can do is available you know and it'll show you the games that you really do have now I never did a full audit with this this is a brand new install of MAME just for the purpose of this video so it started to find games and then it stopped or whatever but I know I, which ones I have anyways and once you do a full audit the available tab will show you all the ones you have alright now I have Mortal Kombat like I just showed you where to get it I do have it now when you first launch it it's gonna look kinda yucky default game option is how you make your MAME any you come in here before you even launch a game now that you have games and you change something let's say I just changed bitmap prescaling all right and then you hit apply and you hit okay and then what you would have is now you would have something called MAME in your any or MAME any and it would be default basically besides whatever that one little change was that you made all right and when you run it with a default this is basically what it's gonna look like hang on I'm gonna turn my HLSL settings off and run it in a default way so you can just see what it's gonna look like before you use the good HLSL settings Look at the text, how, see the text, how jaggedy the edges are? That's really bad. Oh, also, a little thing to mention, when you first start playing MAME, your controller won't work or be set up. So you hit tab on your keyboard and go input this machine. And that's where you set up, configure your controls. Once you've configured your controls, you can just hit tab again to escape. And after you've figured out that you, you've got everything working, but you don't like the way MAME looks, that's where the HLSL settings come into play. So basically, I'm going to enable it HLSL again here. Default game options, advanced. HLSL is checked here on this one. Oh, that's default game options. I was doing custom or something like that. Whatever. Anyways, if you change, if you right click and you go to properties this way, it'll make a custom any just so people know about that. And the custom any overwrites whatever the main any is the default any you don't really need custom any's though anyways so now what you want is the good HLSL settings and I'm gonna put my HLSL settings in the comment section underneath this video I won't put them in the description area because if I do that it says that it's my description is too long right and it's like sorry your description is too long because this is so much crap that it won't let me put all this in the description but it will let me put it all in the comments so what I'm gonna have in the comments is my entire MAME any so all of this like all of this that way you don't have to worry about nothing it's all done for you see I'm copying it here copy 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 all of it boom that's all of it and what you're gonna do is you're gonna find this in the comment section on this video highlight all of it copy it okay after you're done doing that you're gonna come back to your main any folder this one right here open it up you wanna make a backup of your any whatever you got you know make a backup of it 
and then once you back that up just in case or whatever you open it up select all paste that easy and then don't forget to hit file and save once you've done that you're good to go that's all it took so basically you've copied all my name any from the comment that I'm gonna leave under this video you've made a backup of your original name any you open it up you select all you hit paste to overwrite file and save after you've done that next time you run it it's gonna look good see now it looks nice piece of cake <coughs> if you have any questions just leave the questions and I'll try and help them figure it out no punch come on there you go <laughs> One, two, three, four. <laughs>